Vincent van Gogh is one of the world's greatest painters. The potato eaters, sunflowers, and the starry nights are iconic paintings loved and sought after all over the world. Van Gogh was a legend, a genius who created a poem of colors on canvas, and who in an uncontrollable fit of rage cut off his own ear. He lived in abject poverty and died due to starvation. A painter whose artwork today fetches millions of dollars spent a life in oblivion as a total failure. Often referred to as the tortured artist, Van Gogh's art had no takers when he was alive. Vincent began work as a trainee with an art dealership, then as a school teacher a preacher among the mining workers. But it was the world of colors that beckoned him. He began to paint at 27 and sadly at 37 he died. But within these 10 years, Vincent van Gogh produced 1300 paintings, drawings and sketches. It is said that he would work on one painting for only 36 hours and then start the next one. More than a thousand pieces of artwork and yet the painter managed to sell only one painting in his lifetime. Why? What could have gone wrong? Vincent van Gogh's life was a saga of poverty, loneliness, rejection and mental illness. His unstable mind and fits of fury made Vincent almost unemployable. Consequently, his financial condition went from bad to worse, making him dependent on his brother Theo, an art dealer. While in Paris with Theo, Vago came in contact with some great artists of the time. Toulouse Lautre, Pizarro, Sorat, Cezanne and Paul Gauguin. Theo was the only financial and emotional support Van Gogh had in life. Theo once wrote to a friend, I quote, I should not be surprised if my brother were one of the great geniuses and will one day be compared to someone like Beethoven, unquote. And time did prove Theo right. Vincent Van Gogh's bouts of fury were well known. Perhaps the non-acceptance of his art made him intolerant, lonely and severely disappointed. The incident of Van Gogh cutting off his own ear has been a much debated one. Some historians believe that he had a heated argument with another painter, Paul Gauguin, and in a fit of fury, Van Gogh sliced off his own ear. Another story says that Paul Gauguin, an expert fencer, cut off Van Gogh's ear during a fight. Van Gogh, who didn't want to lose this friendship, agreed to cover up the incident to prevent Paul Gauguin from being arrested. Legend has it that Van Gogh wrapped up his severed ear in a newspaper and gave it to a prostitute named Rachel, who believably fainted on the spot. Vincent was rejected in love many times. He first fell in love with his widowed cousin, Kiva Stricka. He was famously rejected by her with the phrase, No, nay, never. Then a string of affairs happened, none of which converted into marriage. With Hornik, a prostitute, with an older neighbor, Margot Begeman, and a cafe owner in Paris named Agostina Segatori. Vincent spent his adult life in poverty and his diet mainly consisted of bread and coffee 
and of course he took to alcohol like fish to water. Winston smoked the pipe which always dangled from his lips. Whatever little Vargon earned or borrowed from Theo, it was all used for buying colors, canvases and other painting equipment. He hardly ever had money to pay to models, so Vargon painted his own portraits. Vargon's mental health was pretty unstable. He would get hallucinations and delusions which became intense as time passed. Vargon was named Le Fourreau, the red-headed madman by his scared neighbors. When his behavior was reported, the police came and evicted the painter from his home for good. In May 1889, Vargon got admitted to a mental hospital. The hospital records show the cause of admission as epilepsy, but researchers have suggested bipolar disorder, alcoholism, and acute intermittent porphyria, a metabolic disorder. Vincent continued to paint even in the asylum. His most famous painting, The Starry Night, was painted there. The swirling skies and the aura around the stars have often been interpreted as the symbolism of infinity or hallucinations resulting from Vargas' mental illness. Vargo was himself not very happy with his work. He once wrote in a letter, I quote, I have been slaving away on nature the whole year, hardly thinking of impressionism or of this, that and the other. And yet, once again, I let myself go reaching for stars that are too big, a new failure, and I have had enough of it." Unquote. Mystery surrounded the death of the great painter. It was believed that on 29th July 1890, Vargas shot himself in the abdomen while painting in a wheat field. But in a biography published in 2011, the authors claimed that a young teenager killed Vago. Their claim was primarily based on the fact that the gun and the painting supplies Vago took with him to the wheat field were never found. His last words to his brother were, The sadness will last forever.